Keith, we've got to congratulate you on your brilliant new single, Wild Hearts. You. You're going to perform it later. We're so excited yes, thank you. to have you here. Um, tell us, uh, tell everyone about the song. What inspired it? It's, it's a song about following your dreams. I mean, you're getting your star on the Walk of Fame, and uh, I just wanted to make records, move to Nashville, and got to do that. And so we wrote this song for everybody following their dreams, and particularly everyone right now who's reassessing their life and going, yeah. have I stopped following my dream? Am I close? Am I further away? Why am I with this person? There's a lot of stuff going on, right? I mean, when did you get back, sort of first playing in front of people post the pandemic? When was, what was those first shows like? It was like? only like a couple of months ago, August. I think yeah. August we played our first show and it was 559 days between the last show in 2020 and the first one in 21. Crazy. Wow. What were those first shows like, that feeling of getting back in front of people? It must have been amazing. It was euphoric. Yeah, it was really nice. I mean, we'd done a lot of virtual gigs, but it, it's like playing outside the window of a nightclub. You yeah. Know? Like, I wanted to get inside and play of course. with everybody, so it was really nice. Yeah. What, were you, what was the first concert you ever went to, Salma? Oh, I went to see Rod Stewart in oh. Houston, Texas. I, I already loved him. Yeah. But then, at some point, he took out a soccer ball and started kicking it into the audience, and that's it. I thought it was amazing, because I love soccer. Yeah. I couldn't believe it could be, get better than already, you know, do you want my body and you think I'm sexy, but then he took those soccer balls and it was incredible. <laughs> There's so many jokes in there, James. <laughs> I never thought that the, 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 the visual imagery of Rod Stewart <laughs> Kicking a soccer ball could so be weird. so sexualized. I know, but you're just like, he was kicking those balls and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love soccer. Yeah, so do I. Like, can I ask him a question? Uh, Is would, it allowed? I would, I would There's love... nothing to do with Rod Stewart, by the way. Yeah, no, no. I'm course, really curious, on. and you might run away from me when we go finish on. this. What did you do for those 500 days when you're used to singing? Like, did you perform for yourself in your house? Did you? I mean, if you're an artist, right, and they lock you up and you cannot... What do you do? Yeah. This we, is completely off topic. No, Tell it's me, not, shut it's up. It's on topic. No, go on. Wrote, recorded, um, did a lot of virtual gigs. Yeah. But were you singing in the bathroom to yourself? I mean, did you do something crazy? I was learning how to kick a soccer ball in case you come to a show. Yeah! <laughs> well, because it's a great... It's a good, because music has just been part of your life for so long. We've got a picture. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Look at this young Keith Urban here with the guitar. <laughs> Look at this boy. Who... I mean, how old are you here? And when that did, was on when Tuesday. Did you... No, I, oh. I... You know, I've got an older brother, and you can tell by their genes I'm the hand-me-down brother, yeah. right? And um, I was six. Yeah, I started wow. that when you started playing the guitar? Yeah. Six, seven, yeah. So you could sing and play at the same time when you were six? Yeah. And when was it that you thought, oh, hang on, I might be quite good at this. I might be able to make a career out of this. You know, you were talking before about not having a plan. I had no plan. I just wanted to get better at both of them. And that ne it never changed. That's it. And so your mother you, was an opera singer. Yeah. Right? Did you, I mean, how's your singing voice? You love to sing. I do love to sing. Yeah. I'm not... It's a strange thing because sometimes it's really bad <laughs> and sometimes don't wait. Sometimes it's really good, huh? Yeah. But I don't understand why it was good that day. And I usually do it in the shower. You know, and for me, it's like, oh, this is my relaxation. And I do this ridiculous thing where I try to reinvent the songs and do different voices. Yeah, you do the same. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's why I was asking you, if we do that, imagine someone like, you know, and, and um, I didn't know you could hear from the hall. And the people that work, every, I'm the joke, but you know, one day somebody said, oh, today you, you could really hit the notes with all... <laughs> you know, it, it's, I can be surprisingly good, yeah. like once every three years. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie, do you have a question for our guest this evening? Uh, yes, I do. Tonight's question goes to... You. Uh, let's make it for all of our guests uh, this evening. I was wondering, <laughs> Uh, when, uh, when, when you guys are like on a couch like you are together right now, are you aware of the way that your energetic fields are manipulating reality? No. <laughs> are you aware? How high are you right now? <laughs> Five foot three. <laughs> 
good answer. That's fair, that's fair. Weirdly correct. It's absolutely correct. <laughs> Please stand up once again. Salma Hayek, everybody. Keith Urban, when we come back, Keith will be performing right here. You don't